To complete this course and achieve your learning objectives, you'll need to put aside time and make a significant effort. In this lecture, we'll look at a few things you can do so that the time that you spend on this course is both effective and enjoyable. In this course, I use an Arduino Uno and various modules that come with the Sun Founder 3-in-1 kit for Arduino. You can see the complete listing of the hardware components in the course parts list at texplore forward slash Arduino car. If you have not already watched my dedicated lecture on the hardware components for this course, please do so before you begin work on the course. You don't have to use the same hardware that I used, and you don't need to purchase this Sun Founder kit. While it is convenient, you can source all of the components that you'll need from many other online sellers, such as on Amazon, eBay, or AliExpress, and of course your local electronics DIY store. Using any Arduino Uno compatible board is okay if it uses the same form factor as the genuine Arduino Uno. This way, your Arduino board will fit well with the mounting holes of the car chassis. It is also okay to use an Arduino Mega 2560. You can mount an Arduino Mega 2560 on the car chassis, though one side will extend over one of the wheels. The Mega will give you many more digital pins to grow your Arduino car with additional hardware if you wish. The Sun Founder 3-in-1 Arduino kit contains all the necessary parts for this course except for the Bluetooth BLE module. You can find the Bluetooth module on the Sun Founder website or of course at your preferred retailer. Again, you can find a complete listing of the hardware for this course on our website at texplore forward slash Arduino car. This course has a GitHub repository that contains all code and schematics. You can copy this code to save time and reduce the risk of bugs. You can also print the schematics and annotate them with your modifications. And you can see the URL for the repository in this slide. You can download the entire repository to your computer or work with one file at a time, like one schematic or one sketch. The GitHub repository is easy to navigate. Each file starts with a numerical ID of a lecture. You can use these numbers to find the sketch and schematic for each lecture quickly. Now let's talk about time. Learning anything worthwhile takes time. Plan for your learning and dedicate the necessary time to your schedule. Be in control of your learning through planning. I have designed this course for people that are already familiar with Arduino, wiring and programming. You can complete the course out of order if you feel comfortable with the individual hardware components. If you have gaps in your knowledge, you should complete the course in a linear manner, one lecture at a time from start to finish. The projects are relatively independent However, I often refer to previous lectures I assume you should have already completed. You should plan to complete each project in one sitting. Projects 3 and 4 do take longer to complete because they involve relatively more complicated software and hardware components. Most people will be able to complete projects 1 and 2 within one hour and projects 3 and 4 within two hours for each project. Do not mark a lecture as completed until you have achieved its practical objectives and have fully understood it. For example, if the practical objective of a lecture is to get the car to move forward, backward, left and right with the joystick, don't mark it as completed until your car can do this and you have understood how the Arduino code works. If you proceed through the course without completing the practical and learning objectives of each lecture, you will strike an obstacle that you will be unable to overcome later and you'll have to backtrack. Okay, I hope that you are ready to begin. In the next section, you'll learn about the individual components that you'll use in the Arduino car mini projects. Mm -hmm.